Blood spots in botany, also known as breaks or chimeras, they are random spontaneous somatic mutations that occur, for instance, in the buds of leaves and flowers. But they're not mutations that occur within these seeds. In this case, the mutation resulted in a reduction of chlorophyll in the leaves, which gives a pattern which is called variegation, or in some cases, no chlorophyll at all, which is known as albinism. There are many different types of ivy var variants, which are very popular in gardens. However, they can't be produced from seeds. The only way they can be kept constant is by taking either cuttings, layerings, or grafting. Every bud has the potential to produce a spatic mutation. This particular plant, if there have been several, has even been what's called reversions, when the leaf colour has regained its chlorophyll. And it ought to be noticed that the leaves with less chlorophyll are usually smaller, because they're making less energy from sunlight, whilst the green ones show the normal size and shape. These sports are also known as lussus or lussi. Uh, which means deviation from the norm, in other words, a freak. Apart from occurring spontaneously, it can also be induced by such things as uh, dramatic changes in temperature uh, by viruses or by chemicals. And if the mutation produced is either visually or physically beneficial, it can be of use to horticulture and to agriculture and can be maintained through these artificial systems of propagation. Albino leaves have no chlorophyll, therefore can produce any energy. They have to obtain it either from a variegated leaf that you're connected to on the same branch or from a normal leaf. What can also happen is that a variegated branch can have a bud which has a mutation producing a normal leaf. It's called a reversion and this normal leaf produces much more energy, and if it's left alone, it'll eventually take over from all the others and outcompete them. The various ivy varieties should not be confused with different species, such as the Persian ivy, which has leaves that are two or three times the size of the European ivy. Also, the upper leaves of ivy, rather like holly, look quite different from the lower ones, and that's perfectly normal. 